Hey there YouTube, how are y'all doing out there today? I'd like to welcome you back to the kitchen or welcome you to the kitchen for the first time if this is the first time you're seeing my videos. I got something I want to share with you today and this is just going to be kind of coming from um, I just wanted to play today. This is when I play in the kitchen. Wanted something different, picked up something at uh, a store in Pensacola the other day and just thought I would share it with you. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I try to just share simple uh, plant-based food on a regular basis. So I'd appreciate if you'd go hit that uh, subscribe button. Um, I got some wraps. I don't really do wraps or burritos or whatever, but I found these in this little uh, store that I buy goods in that from time to time when I go to Pensacola, Food for Life. These are brown rice wraps. And one of the main things I look for if I ever use any packaged products is I look for the saturated fat and I look at the sodium. Both are pretty acceptable on here and then they also have a very, they don't have a long list of um, ingredients there. So this is pretty good. Going to give it a try and I'm going to see if I can actually roll this. Now the nice thing about this, the way that I eat, there's no fail in this uh, little experiment here because However it turns out, I'm going to eat it. Now let me reposition the camera and I'm going to show you kind of exactly what I'm doing here. Okay, I don't roast things very often, but today I'm going to roast something. And what I have here in, are my vegetables. I've got some chopped up, kind of cubed up uh, sweet potato. I have an ear of corn in there. I've got a red bell pepper. Um, generous amount of uh, red onion and then I put a little bit of garlic powder a little bit of cumin and a little bit of uh, chili powder on there and I'm gonna mix this up real good and then I'm just gonna kind of spread it out on my baking sheet here and I'm gonna put it in the oven for probably about 20 25 minutes that's I looked up in how long to kind of roast things and it said like that I'm gonna go roast this and then we will be back for the next step all right, this should be interesting. Now, like I say, I've never done a wrap before, but the good part is, is in my world, there is no failure. This thing, the ingredients are good, so this is gonna get eaten one way or another. It just might get a little messy. Now, what I have here is I've got some, uh, I took an avocado and just mashed it up with a little bit of lime juice in there. Not really sure when avoc mashed avocado becomes guacamole. Like I don't put a lot in mine, so even when I'm like making quote unquote guacamole. So we're just gonna start, use this. This will be a little wet, so I'm gonna kinda just spread some on here. Like so, keep it in the middle, I'm hearing. Nice little bit there. Right, oh, a little bit of stray got away. Next, my roasted vegetables. And let me tell you something that I did with these roasted vegetables as well. I also, I, well, I used about half a lime in my uh, avocado, and then I used the other half to, uh, after I cooked this, after I roasted this, then I tossed it with some of this um, lime juice. So now we're just gonna take a little bit of mixture here. And one thing I, I was kind of like Googling a little bit like how to do a wrap. And I tend to go overboard on things. So they said, don't go too heavy on ingredients. Don't overfill your ingredients, which I'm already looking like I might be doing. Next, I'm putting some uh, red beans on there. I just cooked these this morning. Let's see, what did I put in this? I put, um, I cooked my beans in some garlic powder. I always use garlic powder. Um, I actually used a little cumin in here and I used some of that Veggie Base. It's a good product. And then I'm just gonna put a couple of, uh, a little bit of tomato in here. <laughs> and then let's see if we can roll this bad boy. First of all, let's do it this way cause I got a little bit better to work with. Now I believe they said kind of fold the sides first. I tried to make this wrap pliable. I actually uh, took a couple of them. I wrapped them in uh, aluminum foil 
and then after I roasted the vegetables, I lowered the temperature, put them in there just for a couple or three minutes. Said it might make them more pliable, but I'm already not getting a whole lot of pliability here. In fact, like I say, I thought this would probably turn out like this, so this is not any big deal, but here's what we're gonna end up doing. I will try another wrap at a later date. But I'm just going to eat that as is because the ingredients are good. I eat alone and I'm not really all that into presentation. So I wish the wrap had come out a little bit better. I'm not a big wrap eater. But yeah, other than um, Nate and Lissa, they make some good looking wraps. Their wraps don't fall apart. But anyhow, just play with your food. This is still going to be really good. I'm still like about to go sit down and devour this. And then I will be back for seconds. So anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you want to try it, you might know a better wrap. Like I say, there's probably some wrap. I've, I've seen wraps at the store. They're wraps at the store, but they're high in sodium. They're generally, they got a whole bunch of products in there, of uh, ingredients in there that I won't, don't want. So eh, what are you going to do? Anyhow, hope you guys uh, like this. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Peace.